Aquarius, and welcome to your monthly reading for October 2021. I hope that you are doing great, living your best life in good health, receiving lots of wealth and abundance, and everything is all good and gravy. And I hope that today's reading will bring, bring you any clarity that you may be seeking and confirmation for what you already know to be true. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to invite you to hit the subscribe button somewhere down there. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of the notifications. And if you're if you're interested in private reading, all you got to do is just send me an email. The information is also down in the, in the description box. Now we're going to be taking a look at what's going on this month for you. And towards the ending of the reading, I will be drawing some cards of advice for you, okay? So before I draw any tarot cards, I am going to draw a card from my Goddess Oracle deck. And we're going to ask your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, whomever it is that you resonate most with on the other side to come through and give us a message for what you truly need to hear at this moment, okay? Ostara with fertility, okay? And she says, it is a perfect time for you to start new projects, uh, new projects, assess new ideas, and give birth to new conditions, okay? So what I'm getting from this card is, Spirit is saying that this is a time for you to let go of what is no longer serving you and be open to change. Be open to the things that the universe is guiding you to starting new things. Okay. So a lot of you guys may be getting this creative flow right now where you're creating some of you guys may be uh, content creators. You may be working at a marketing company. Okay. I feel like you guys are creating something and spirit is saying right now is a time to unleash all that creativity and don't put your eggs all in one basket is what I'm also getting. Cause I see her with a basket there. Okay. She has all her eggs in one basket, but all her eggs here are different colors, okay? So there's a variety. There's options here. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? The Eight of Wands. Traveling, okay? Or distance between you and someone else. Or distance or keeping things at a distance with someone else. Traveling. A lot of downloads coming in, okay? All right, guys. Let's begin. Let's get into it. So a lot of you guys are dealing with a water sign, a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces, okay? And with this person, I do feel like you're questioning um, is if this relationship is ending or if it's beginning. And I don't know if it's actually that you are completely severed in this relationship or if you're wondering if there's a future with this person, okay? I do feel like a lot of you guys, though, a lot of you guys are evolving from this relationship because the world card is, the world is continuing, the world is moving, it's evolving, there's growth there, okay? So I do feel like a lot of you guys are growing, uh, are moving apart, are growing out of the King of Cups energy here. And then the Eight of Swords going into the Nine of Pentacles. This is about you holding yourself back, okay? Um, this could be that you're limiting yourself on your beliefs of, of this situation. It could be, well, what if things are not going to work out? What if this is the best I could do? What if, um, what if I'm, 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 what if I'm not giving myself enough credit for this? There's doubt there. You're doubting yourself. And I also get self-sabotage here because this is the energy of like overthinking, being very pessimistic and very negative here, okay? So this is this is about being in your head, okay? And you're holding yourself back. And I do feel like with the nine of pentacles here, I do feel like this is just spirit saying this is about you, okay? I do feel like there's an emphasis of feeling, feeling like you're trapped because these are two different energies here. I feel like spirit is saying this is not only your energy, but then there's two energies also going on here or two different situations or thoughts here. This is about you feeling like you're trapped, conflicted in your mind or feeling trapped in this situation with the, the king of cups and the world, the, the future with this person. Okay. And then, so half of you is like, I feel trapped in this situation. And then the Knight of pentacles is like, I kind of want to be independent. So there's a little energy of wanting to make it work with this person or not sure if it will work or talking yourself out of it working. And then the other part of you is like, but I enjoy being by myself. I enjoy my independence. I enjoy luxury. I enjoy my own energy okay so i do feel like everyone wants love at the end of the day but it may be that maybe with this person you feel a little overwhelmed by this person and maybe you feel a little more peaceful when you're by yourself we'll see then we have this knight of wands here going into the eight of swords again the eight of swords from a completely different deck here and what i'm getting from this aquarius is that 
there's someone that comes in with the, the knight of wands and it's this energy of i'm i'm apologetic i'm charming and i feel like this person always charms your pants off like they say and do whatever it is that they can do to get in good graces with you and then you go back into feeling trapped again okay that that feeling of feeling like overwhelmed by your own thoughts um or actually by the situation okay so this person comes in and they sweep you off your feet but then you get back in your head again and then you go into this nine of wands energy where it's your def you put your defense up again you put your wall up again you put your guard up and you're just like i'm not moving from this bitch okay this is my house these are my feelings okay and i have to be strong for myself okay i need to be good for myself and so I can't let you penetrate this wall, okay? So this is like, I'm ready to fight at any moment. I'm ready to go. So there's this level of like also feeling very defensive, Aquarius. And then the hangman card there is, although you're defensive about this, 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 this situation, you're hanging on though. So it's like, what I'm getting is like almost like trauma bonding. It's like, um, you know, something isn't good for you, but then it's like, what if it's not that bad? So you hang on to this situation. So you're hanging on there. The hangman card is also about like sacrifices there. So I feel like you're sacrificing, you're sacrificing something here, Aquarius. And I feel like it's your happiness or you're sacrificing, yeah, it's happiness because the nine of, of the ten, the nine of wands here, okay, is really about you having this defensive energy. And then the hangman card is like the sacrificing of your happiness. It's kind of like the energy you're mostly always in, having to always be on the defense, okay? And then we have the two of swords here. You got to make a decision and you're confused about that decision, okay? So you're really with the, you see how she's blindfolded? The blindfold's supposed to symbolize that she's not asking her friends, she's not asking her mom, she's not asking her titi for advice. She's really asking the divine and her higher Christ, Christ consciousness, what do I do? What's best for me? What's going to work for me? But I feel like, I feel like you already know the situation isn't working. And I feel like I'll tell you why in a second, but as I drew the confirmation or the clarification card for the two of swords, I had three cards fly out. And these are the three cards that flew out. The two of cups, the ten of swords, and the emperor here, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with someone who's very in a very con a very controlling person, okay? Um, someone who's very, very disciplined or appears to be very disciplined, and it's like they want you to do things their way, okay? Um and this has to do with your love connection. This has to do with your relationship, okay? And what Spirit is saying with that Two of Swords there is you already intuitively know that this has gone, this has gone with the Ten of Swords. It's, 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 it's reached an ending here. It's reached an ending here, okay? And it's time to evolve. It's time to move on. It's time to move forward. And then towards the ending of October, Aquarius, I do see you with the Page of Swords here learning something new and what i get is that i get like this like um you're going out you're you're putting yourself out there to the world you're meeting new people with the page of swords you're curious to meet new people and i also feel like you're communicating with other people as well then it goes into the ace of swords okay so lots of communication and clarity for you at the ending of this month everything that's happening now um the towards the energy uh, towards the ending or the mid to ending of october going into november i do feel like you're going to feel this this heaviness that you're feeling start to lighten and things are going to be lighter as they go and i feel like although right now you feel like you want to be by yourself and you don't really want to socialize with anyone i do see you putting yourself out there at the ending of the month and i do see you gaining clarity on why this situation worked out the way it did and why it didn't work out the way it did okay now let's get some advice for you on how to navigate all of this this month aquarius let's see what is your advice, spirits? What is your advice for Aquarius? I just saw a card flip. I know I ain't crazy. Okay. Eight of Cups. Justice. Yeah. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, so your advice is to follow your truth. Follow your truth. One second, though. Let me draw one more. Okay. Yeah. And the Six of Pentacles. Be careful with what you're giving. Okay. So you got the Eight of Cups here. Okay. The Eight of Cups is about lacking something emotionally and feeling like hot and cold energy here. Okay, this is someone who's escaping. It may be someone who's traveling. So some of you guys may be traveling or spirit is saying, maybe it's time for you to travel to kind of shake off this energy. Okay, I do feel like you're finding or you're searching for what it is that you're lacking or what you were lacking in this connection, okay? And there's times where spirit is saying, listen, it's not gonna be easy. There's gonna be times where you're going to miss this person or this situation. Um, and there's gonna be times where you're gonna wanna reach out, but then there's gonna be times where you're gonna stand your ground. You're going through the motion of things here, okay? Then we got this justice card here, which is all about your truth, the truth, karma, um, the, the Libra scales, everything balancing. We are in Libra season as I am recording this video. So what I see is you are walking around really searching for your happiness and your truth. Okay, you're trying to find out emotionally, what am I lacking? What was I lacking? Okay, and you're, you're looking for it. You're searching for it. Okay, you're searching for your truth. And then the Six of Pentacles here, also a card of advice, is really about reciprocity. Okay, is it given what it's supposed to give? Okay, are you giving energy to someone or something and receiving that energy in, in, in return? Are you feeling like you give a certain energy and in response, you get a certain energy in return? Like, I feel like no matter what you say to this person, I feel like you can't do anything right with this person is what I'm getting. I feel like this person is very strict on how they want things. And unfortunately, it just leads you feeling like you're giving more than you're supposed to. Okay. So your advice this month, um, uh, Aquarius, is to really find your truth. Go out and search for it. And it's something that you already know is within you. You already know your truth. But I feel like you may have to like actually go out, start socializing again so that you can start to feel, you're going to know why this situation ended up the way that it, it, it ended. And you're going to figure this out once you start to finally feel like yourself again. Okay? Just know to stick to your truth. That's what spirit wants you to do. Stick what you know to be true. Don't let anybody try to tell you anything differently. That's the conclusion of your reading for this month. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. I will also be doing a bonus reading for my most viewed signs. Scorpio and Libra tends to be number one, but we'll see how it goes this month. Like this video and share if you care, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, Aquarius.